Hello, and welcome to CHC's online presentation, ECW version C20 upgrade features. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with an overview of the new ECW features that will affect your clinical workflow. Participants must complete the entire course, which includes the presentation, an explanation of the new features in ECW 10 version C20, the presentation evaluation, and then a printable version, which is optional. Employees are able to print out a hard copy of the presentation. At the end of this presentation, you will have viewed our upgrade highlights, the patient safety enhancements in the following areas, the right panel, the problem list section, the concurrent lock features in telephone encounters and more commonly used areas of the chart, as well as medical summary. Also, there are new workflows, opening progress notes, and medication management. In this first section, upgrade highlights. Here are some important items to remember the weekend of our upgrade. Laptops and computers will be upgraded over the weekend starting November 12th. Your laptops must remain on site that weekend, the 12th and the 13th. This will ensure that your ECW application is updated prior to seeing patients on Monday morning. Records will need to be printed for patients scheduled on Saturday the 12th and as a precaution, Monday the 14th as well. ECW will not be available from 7.30 p.m. Friday, November 11th until 10 p.m. Sunday, November 12th. On Saturday the 12th, all sites will be closing at 12 noon, including those normally open until 4 p.m. The phone lines will be rolled over to around the clock for coverage at 12 noon that Saturday. And finally, Novo, Centricity, Open Dental, and Outlook will be available for use. Next, Patient Safety Enhancements 1. The main changes in the C20 upgrade have to do with patient safety. ECW has upgraded its technology to provide triggers and alerts that help the users make the safest choices in their documentation of patient care. Let's begin with those safety features that will affect all clinical staff. Patient Safety Level 1. This section includes ICD level icons added to the problem list, the concurrent lock feature, medical summary enhancements, a new workflow, the removal of the pop-up carry forward medications into the progress note. The right panel's problem list section now easily distinguishes between ICD-9 and ICD-10 codes using icons. This feature will help providers quickly identify the ICD-9 codes that need to be replaced on the problem list. For support staff, they will now understand the difference between the two and the new screen. There is a new feature called Concurrent Lock that blocks users from documenting in the same area of the chart. Since most clinical roles interact with telephone encounters, it's important that all staff be aware of how the concurrent lock feature will work in a TE. When more than one user accesses the same area of a chart simultaneously, the CHE standard workflow will be, when the access warning appears, users must remember to always click no to exit the window without making any changes. If the Yes button is clicked, the changes you make will overwrite those of the first user. If access is urgent, you can send a link message to the user currently in the TE to close it as soon as possible. For a clear understanding of how the concurrent lock feature works, review the following scenario. A PSA has answered the call of a patient that would like his test results. She has created a TE and sent it to the PCP. However, the PSA forgot to add some additional information, so she opens the TE again to add it. In the meantime, the provider opens the TE and decides to click the Yes button when the access warning advised her that the PSA was currently in the same telephone encounter. The provider writes her instructions in the TE, but notice that the information that was entered by the PSA is missing. 
the area highlighted in yellow. Returning to the PSA's window, when finished, she clicks the OK button and receives the following message. Other user has changed data when you were working. For patient data consistency, this screen will be closed. At which point, the information will be lost. There will be no record in the log history of what the PSA added. Here's what subsequent viewers will see. The PSA's original timestamp and the message sent to PCP, along with the provider's timestamp and message. For more clarification of this workflow, watch the following product demo. Recalling the scenario, the PSA has created a telephone encounter for a patient who would like their test results. She's assigned it to the provider, but remembered that she needed to add some additional information, so she opened it back up, and she's in the process of documenting that right now. However, in the meantime, the provider has seen the telephone encounter and goes to open it up. The access warning pops up advising them that someone else is already in it, and the provider goes ahead and clicks yes. They add their timestamp with the information to call the patient back, and they decide to go ahead and assign it to their nurse so that can be done. Returning back to the PSA screen, she finishes what she was typing in. and clicks OK to close the window. However, she receives the message that another user has changed the data. So she goes ahead and clicks OK. Now when we go back into that telephone encounter, what we'll see is the provider's information, but we don't see the timestamp that the PSA added. It's been lost. When we look into the log history, we can see the times that it's been modified, but the information that was overwritten is gone. So now you've had a chance to see the concurrent log feature in a telephone encounter. Remember, it was stated earlier that the concurrent lock or access warning message appears whenever two users are accessing the same window simultaneously. The following slides show a few of the additional areas in which the access warning will appear and that will affect multiple clinical roles. The concurrent lock shows in the lab results and diagnostic imaging windows. When the warning appears, be certain to click the No button to avoid overriding the other user's actions. The Referrals window. Again, Click the No button to avoid overriding the other user's actions. Moving on to another patient safety feature, Medical Summary. Additional information has been added to the Medical Summary header. It now includes race, ethnicity, preferred language, and care team. Attention. New workflow. One last change that will affect multiple users concerns progress notes. Users will no longer be prompted to carry forward the current medications when opening the patient's visit note for today or future visits. Medications will no longer be pulled into the note by this prompt. Patient Safety Enhancements 2. The patient safety enhancements in this portion of the presentation affects the clinical users that document within the office visit. Patient Safety Level 2. This section includes the following, the concurrent lock feature in the progress notes, and a new workflow printing out the medication list. The concurrent lock feature in progress notes. The data entry windows, or blue links, in the progress note window are also affected by the new patient safety feature concurrent lock 
and it works the same as shown in previous slides. Here's the pop-up in the Chief Complaints window. Another important window that is affected by the feature is the current medication window. This time, click the Cancel button to avoid overwriting the other user's updates when the concurrent lock warning appears. Attention New Workflow Print the current medication list via medical summary link for the medical visit. Starting Monday, November 14th, for users that print out the current medication list at the beginning of the visit, it will now be printed via the medical summary link, instead of the print button at the bottom of the progress note window. This workflow will mainly affect the medical assistant and nursing roles. It will ensure that the medication list is not reconciled before the provider has had a chance to review it. The following slides review the new workflow. Step 1. From the progress note window, click the medical summary link on the patient dashboard. Step 2. In the medical summary window, first time users, change your print fax options to view the medications by clicking the print drop down arrow and checking that option only. And finally, step 3. Click the print button to provide the patient with their current medication list. If you are a medical assistant, continue to advise the patient to review the list and report any changes to the provider. Watch the following product demo. To print the patient's medication list, open up the visit and then click the medical summary link on the patient dashboard. Now if this is the first time that you've accessed the medical summary or if you have other options selected to view, then you'll need to change it so that you're just viewing the medication list. Click the drop down arrow next to the print button at the bottom of the screen and choose the print fax options. The quickest way to change this is to check all categories and then uncheck the button and select medications and click OK. That setting will stay until you change it again. You have your medication list to print, so you just click the print button down at the bottom of the list. And that's how you print out the medication list starting November the 14th. The final change regarding the medical summary window includes an addition of the status of each medication as well as a stop date, if added, for the list of the current medication. Notice the changes in the screenshot below. The purpose of this presentation was to provide you with an overview of the new features available in the ECW C20 upgrade, which included patient safety features, the concurrent lock in multiple areas of the chart, medical summary demographic enhancements, the removal of the carry forward message, new workflows included printing the medication list. Don't forget, we go live November 14th. Thank you for viewing this CHC online presentation.